we were about six months into Kira's illness and I'd been out of work for that time and I knew I was taking like three more months. We had them come out to do like the routine maintenance that they do with the house with the heater and the, the oil and they said, you know, you have to get a new oil tank. If you don't, it's going to end up breaking and you're going to have oil in the house and it's going to be an EPA issue. And it was several thousand dollars. I needed a thousand dollars up front and it was one of these like this has to be done right now kind of thing. So I reached out to Kisses for Kyle to find out if there's any way that they could help us perhaps procure a loan with like a low interest, something we could pay off when we were back on our feet kind of thing. And I think within 24 hours they told us that they could have someone out here who would actually replace our oil tank for us and we were just blown away. It was really incredible. We were invited to go to the Ladybug Ball that they had in February of 2013. So if you can imagine where we were in February of 2013, our daughter was diagnosed December 5th. So she spent 14 days in the hospital, then we had the holidays, which were, you know, really tough. So our first outing as a family was the Ladybug Ball, and it was just incredible. She had her bald head, and nobody looked at her funny, and nobody, you know, everyone was just so wonderful to us. And, People came up and told us their stories, and it was just really nice to have a place where we felt like Kira could be Kira and we could be us, and, and it was okay. Because of the relief that we got through Kisses for Kyle, we were able to at least, okay, well, this is taken care of. Let's go on to the next thing. Okay, this is taken care of. It's been a couple years, but I, mean, I think we made it, you know, and not everybody can.